Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. You've seen the title, you've read the description, and I'm sure you've seen my previous video where we actually found these in the wild. I finally have Halo Infinite Series 4 blind bags in my hand. Six beautiful packs and uh, yeah, I had a kind of review of Halo Infinite Series 4 come out about a month ago thanks to Kevin Hood Halo Collector providing me with the footage, but now I finally got them to myself. We got six figures. And to be honest, this series hits home for me because I revealed these uh, kind of to the world. I mean, the images leaked on Mega's website and then uh, Yan thankfully provided me with all the correct imagery to make a reveal video. So I kind of semi-revealed it. It wasn't a full reveal by any means. People had already figured out that it must have been some sort of blind bag series, but I confirmed it was Infinite Series 4. And here it is finally in my hands. Yes, I got a lot of good things to say and a lot of, well, not a lot of, a couple of bad things to say about this series. I will address immediately. Yes, we are down from eight figures to six. I I think that's a big mistake, a big withdrawal. We wait six months for each blind bag series, so I think there should be a lot more than six figures. In my opinion, I think Mega has been spooked by feedback saying, uh, when you have so many figures, it's hard for me to get them all. I don't wanna feel like I've missed out on uh, characters. I get it, but also like, I don't know. Blind bags are a mystery build. It's not like you're unable to find like the new Banished Phantom, like these are a blind bag series. I, I've never been so committed to collecting every single one. Since I've got this channel, yes, I have collected every one, but like back in the day, especially when there were series like, uh, I don't know, Challenger and Warrior, I didn't get all of them at the time. There is a lot of good things to say about this series. The buildable Sentinel is amazing, and it's even more amazing that this is a common figure. Thank you, Mega, for giving us the opportunity to army build them properly. There's no bad figure in this series at all. And I do like that Mega is kind of going back to the color coordinated element of blind bag series, particularly like I just mentioned, Warrior, Stormbound, Challenger, Maverick. And I do want to note as well, I think all of these figures are pre-built. So this won't be so much a building video as just my review video as well. Of course, I am going to build them if they need building, but I think they are pre-assembled, which is kind of funny. It is an odd decision for Mega to make because they are a building company, but I do also get that these blind bags will be an introduction to Mega and to Halo Infinite or Halo blind bags or Halo Mega blocks in general. I do get that, you know, people don't want to buy a figure, find out the torso is hard to get together and then just never buy another one. It kind of makes sense that these are like a display preview of what Mega has to offer. You could buy this, you could uh, enjoy the character and then you could choose to buy more bigger sets where you actually have to build the character. I don't know if in upcoming sets in the future Mega just wants to make all of them pre-assembled because there are some criticisms of the torsos. Talking about building, you might have been able to guess even by the sound which one this is gonna be. Three, two, one, it's the Sentinel. I thought I may as well start with the buildable one to get this review going. And I do also want to know, I already have a pre-built Sentinel. When I found these blind bags, I bought two Sentinels and I built one of them and then I wanted to buy a full set so I could uh, do a travel blocks, you know, do a hunting video. I do always love to make travel blocks and you should definitely check out that video. They're my uh, release, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a really enjoyable series that I can make. I don't have to grind them out, you know, like editing travel blocks are super enjoyable. This looks good. I've seen also criticisms about this Sentinel that it doesn't come with a Sentinel beam. Mega did confirm that that was because they just couldn't get the mold to work. They tried and they would have had to cast a brand new Sentinel beam mold, so they chose not to. In my opinion, like, obviously I can understand why they did that, but Sentinel Beams are in Halo Infinite, man. Like, they're, they're a key part of the sandbox. So if there was ever a time to bring back the Sentinel Beam mold, it would be now. So, uh, I don't know. They're kind of sleeping on that one for now. But you can't really criticize when we've had amazing new molds like Jager Redomni and the ODST backpack. I hope in the future, with enough support from us, with uh, a increase in production and distribution, that Mega can actually um, provide us with a larger uh, amount of molds molds per year. They, I want them to have a much higher mold budget, but only time will tell. A lot of articulation on these claws. You can really, uh, yeah, obviously you can snap them off. Just enough experimentation. You can rotate this round. You could have these claws in any direction, but we're going to go off what the instruction manual says for now. That looks, looks quite, quite nice here. Yeah. They have quite a far reach, these Sentinels, and it is also wild that over the years, we've got such a small amount of Sentinels. Like literally, 
just one or two. Um, mainly in the Battlescape 3, I believe. Maybe it was a Battlescape 2. I think it was 3. I get why Mega didn't prioritize it, because Sentinels haven't been in the game, so it does seem like the perfect uh, opportunity to get them back. And look how I've, like, moved these arms ever so slightly. Like, they have completely different um, angles that they're going in. Like, I, I, I really enjoy this. I think there's a lot of customization, and my friend Strandy42 on Instagram, he just made a custom Sentinel, which you should definitely check out. It looks like an absolute beast. Whoa, popped off the helmet there, or the headdress, or whatever you would call it. I guess it's a head. A blue stud on the front. Yes, you could obviously switch that out for a red stud. Get him a little bit angry, and then we're gonna clip this into the bottom. This is kind of meant to be the sentinel beam. Yes, of course, it's no way near as good as an actual sentinel beam, but it, you know what? It's just what we've got right now, and we're gonna make do with what we got, because what we've got is pretty fantastic. We got a lot going for us right now. You know me, I'm always an avid defender of Mega and Halo, I think, as you should be. Yes, they are businesses, but they're businesses that we enjoy the product uh, so much we do need to support particularly with things like the delay on the Falcon sweep production That looks great big thumbs up for the Sentinel. Alrighty beautiful. What are we gonna find next? Okay, I uh, yeah This this kind of takes a lot of the steam out of these blind bag openings because they are pre-constructed But it's still exciting really looking forward to that marine and the AC jackal uh, I've heard the Anubis is gonna be really good too, really clean figure. So let's see BAM It's the Anubis. Would you look at that? See when I say things like that It makes it sound scripted <laughs> like, When I say things like oh the Anubis looks really good and then I immediately pull the Anubis It makes it seem scripted. I apologize. It's not I swear I did film part three three and four of opening blind bag series. I know you guys really enjoy me opening retro blind bags and I did film part three and four. Part three got devastated by a complete um, audio like scratching noise. Uh, the audio is basically unusable. So I'm gonna make some kind of funny video where I narrate over the top of it. I think it's gonna be pretty funny. But yeah, this Anubis is pretty sick. So we've had a lot of these infection. I won't call them flood. They're just like standard infection game mode uh, Spartans. And we did just get the return of them in the Last Man Standing helmet. After many, many years of hiatus, the reflective metallic green visor is a wonderful touch. And yes, the glow in the dark, it, it needs to absorb a lot of light before it glows in the dark. But I'm gonna have this in my room. I, I used to love back in the day, I I had the original two Last Man Standing packs in my bedroom and every night you could see them at all times. It was pretty spooky. Yeah, the Anubis looks great. Black base plate and we will take a moment to look at the instruction manual. I like the uh, the blue effect. It, it's like a little, uh, I don't know, it's a little plain for sure, but I do like the, uh, the trees faded in the background. And look at that. I don't think I've ever seen that on a blind bag before where it displays the code. And yes, I will include the codes down below. If I forget to include the codes down below, there is a video on my channel called Halo Infinite Series 4 Codes or something like that, so you can check it out. The Anubis is going to be fighting... Three, two, one, a Spartan Recon. Yes, and would you look at that? This is the first time, ladies and gentlemen, we've ever laid eyes on the Ravager. The Ravager, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Yeah. Really clean, really nice mold. I like that this, uh, I can already tell, this base piece, yep, that uh, that slots into a figure's hands. Really nice. The Ravager, one of my least, if not, uh, it's probably my least favorite weapon in the multiplayer, but one of my favorite weapons in the campaign. And it just goes to show that some weapons are designed for the campaign and then integrated into multiplayer. Like this was definitely a campaign first weapon. Can the Spartan hold both of these at once? Kind of, kind of not, yeah, just about enough. He looks great. The green Green is an interesting choice. People either love or hate the neon colors. I love my hot pink neon uh, Spartans. I think they're great. There's a new one that comes out in one of the new helmets, maybe the Fiesta helmet. Looking forward to that. I uh, I like the, the changing in color of the limbs between lime green and this khaki desert. I look forward to seeing this one day painted. I hope the next Halo Hero series has a painted Ravager. That would be really great. Alongside, um, well, a, we've got confirmed that a Flood figure is coming to uh, Halo Hero series 17. I'm thinking either a really detailed Elite or a Flood Brute. Fantastic. I really like this figure. I'm, I'm going to like all of these. I know that. Because they're unique, you know. They stand out. Halo Infinite Series 2 and 3 blind bags uh, were great. I, I think the Series 1 Halo Infinite blind bags were just army builder purposefully. But then Series 2 and 3 were a little bit different, but the colors were okay. I, I much prefer these, like, interesting vibrant neon-esque colors. And then I also really like the grittiness of things like the Marine. And you know how this goes. Because I mentioned this Marine, it's going to now be a Marine. Uh, oh no. Okay. 
Okay, nice. It's the AC Jackal. And look at that. Yes, there's his blue eyepieces. I didn't know how blue they'd be. Uh, turns out really blue. That's great. The Jackal Sniper made his debut in the Gun Goose Gambit. And oh my goodness, he, these arm pieces are pretty crazy. These huge like daggers that come out of each side. And also, I guess the fact that they're pre-assembled removes the uh, problem of getting like two left legs or two right legs. I believe that would uh, remove the problem. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got a pre-constructed figure that still has like two left legs or two right legs. And yeah, I know he comes with a beam rifle and not a stalker rifle. It would be way better if he came with the stalker rifle. If Mega was introducing any uh, new weapon, it should have been the stalker rifle instead of the Ravager, but I'm still happy with that uh, choice of the Ravager. Yeah, nice uh, Jackal Sniper. I love the AC-ness. If Jackal Snipers can go AC, then we are all completely doomed, but the Jackal Snipers in Halo Infinite are super aggressive. I love that they usually fire two shots that takes your shields down, but sometimes they'll just fire three shots because they're feeling like a manic and uh, they'll kill you instantly. I've already felt this is a Grunt Imperial. Imperial Grunt. Yes. Yes, very nice. Very nice. I've mentioned in all of my grunts recently, and I'll, I'll keep on mentioning it, uh, there should be a bit more painted detailing, particularly on this ring that have been in the past and we've lost that. I believe the Halo Infinite Series 1 grunt did come with that ring. A plasma pistol and a black base plate. And I guess we have gone to black base plates. We were getting some interesting desert and dark green ones. The grunt, I don't have, you know, a lot to say about, and we are already on our last figure because, again, they're pre-constructed, so uh, I don't have to spend 20 minutes just rambling while I build them. I wonder what this might be. It would be really awkward if it wasn't the Marine, <laughs> because then we would not have a full figure review. Nice. Comes with a backpack. I don't believe that most Marines have come with backpacks in these series. Though obviously a lot of these Marines are criticized in these blind bag series because they don't come with any shoulder or leg pieces. They're just plain Marines. I believe this one is a female torso. Yep, there we go. You can struggle to get the uh, chest piece off a female torso. And I know that Demarcation Media in particular was complaining about the new Medic ODST that came in the Hive Exterminators having a female torso because the chest armor just wasn't designed to uh, to accept. Oh, look at that. That's It's pre-assembled, but the factory... See, this is why we can't trust robots, guys. They made it wrong. They put the piece on back to front. There's a little guy coming onto my review. You wanna, you wanna come review Halo Mega Constructs, bud? There he is. Wait, was that actually the way it was meant to go? Well, would you look at that? The machines win this round. This was actually the way it was meant to go on. I could have sworn that was meant to go on the back of the Marine. But she does have the nice new balaclava, and obviously that's genderless. Could be anyone. I love the speckling effect all across uh, her sort of jumpsuit, her sort of uh, camo pants and uh, and shirt. And the addition of the dark gray uh, highlights on her knee pads is a nice touch. And the commando is always a really great touch. This is a phenomenal Marine. I think I will buy at least like five or six of these. That is something that I want to army build for sure. I will get about uh, five or six Sentinels as well. And this is the kind of series I really want you guys to let me know in the comments down below how much will you be army building this how many is too many because i don't really know when you look at kevin hurd halo collector his uh, sentinel army is is beyond uh ridiculous <laughs> in the best way i mean that is a huge compliment it's outrageous there's our six figures guys halo infinite series floor series floor <laughs> series four blind bags should there be eight figures absolutely but this is better than most uh sets in the past when you've got a ac master chief or an ac trailblazer as the common figure, you don't want to army build back, but I will happily army build a few of these. I will definitely leave it as just one of each of these. I'll get about five Marines and about five Sentinels, and I'll be done with Series 4. And then we'll await, probably, if I was to guess, Halo Universe Series 2 blind bags, which I would imagine are going to be announced fairly soon, fairly soon. If you want to check out a full detailed review of this series, I'll try and remember to leave it as the end card of this video. And a big shout out, as always, to my patrons. You guys are supporting me for just $3 or more a month, and you are really helping the continuation of this channel right now. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the Sentinel is signing off. Beep boop, beep boop.